This content is for educational purposes only. What you do with this information is at your own risk. Thank you for watching. Enjoy. How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another video. So it's been brought to my attention that Atmosphere has been set to full release now, and this is on the 1.8.0 version. And that's what this video is going to be about. I have updated my GitHub with my packs. So all the links are going to be in the description. I have also updated the AIO updater app. So if you want to update your switch with the updater app through Wi-Fi, I also added the firmware 19.0.1. If you want to update to that as well, which I'll be going through in this video, but I just want to go through a quick disclaimer that even though it's been set to full release, it looks like it hasn't added anything since a month ago. So that pretty much means that my last pre-release that I did with tinfoil looks like it's the full release files. So even though that seems like what the case is, I still went ahead and updated my packs with the full release version and just in case. But I wanted to let y'all know. So if everything is working fine for you with my pre-release pack, then you should be okay. But if you want to be on the safer side, you can go ahead and update with the packs that I have with the links in the description or with the AIO updater app. But with that out of the way, let's go ahead and check it out. Hello everyone, it's me from the future. I forgot to say in the beginning of the video that for those of you that already have my version of the AIO switch updater app, then you do not need to follow along where you re-download it and extract it to the SD card. I have not updated it, so it's been working just fine for me. You should be able to just already use the app and start updating your CFW. So let me know if it works for you on your app. If it doesn't, then you can follow the process of downloading it again and extracting it over your SD card. And if you need to follow along, you can skip ahead to the video where I start downloading the CFWs and you can go from there. Just wanted to say that real quick. Enjoy the video. All right, so the first thing that we can do is open up the SD card of the switch. And for those of you that want to use my version of the AIO updater app, you do need to have CFW already set up on your switch or your SD card because we need the HB menu to access it. So that being said, those of you that do not have anything or starting with a fresh SD card, you could just download my packs from the GitHub, which I'll have a link in the description, and then you can extract it to your SD card and you should be good to go on that end. But for those of you that want to download the AIO updater app and update everything from the switch, we can just go ahead and download that and let's get started with that. Okay, so all the links that you're going to need are going to be in the description down below. So for those of you that want to use my version of the AIO updater app, you can look for the link in the description that says click here for the AIO updater app. But once you click on the link, it should take you to my GitHub page where all you need to do is just scroll down here and click on this link to start the download process. Now, for those of you that want to do this process manually, or if you're starting with a fresh SD card, I will also leave the links to my packs for the um, AMS or the Hecate 6.2.2, the latest version of Hecate, and the full release of AMS 1.8.0. So you have those options as well. But now that we have the download of the AIO updater app, we can move it to the desktop and have it ready. Okay, now that we downloaded my version of the AIO switch updater, it's so hard to say, but we can now extract it to the switch folder of the SD card. So let's go ahead and start with that. So when I extract my zip files, I always use 7-zip to extract. If you want to follow along with me, I'll have a download link to 7-zip in the description as well. But with 7-zip, I'm going to open the archive. And here we have a switch folder. And since I'm using the DBI installer app to access my SD card, it doesn't let me extract to my SD card from the archive. I have to extract it to my PC and then copy it over. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to highlight the switch folder and then extract it to my PC, to my desktop. I'm going to close out of this archive and we need to have this inside the switch folder. I'm going to open up the switch folder on the SD card and I'm going to open up this switch folder here and we have the AIO switch updater folder. All I need to do is just copy it to the SD card 
inside the switch folder. So make sure you're inside the switch folder. Highlight this folder and then copy it to the switch folder. That's pretty much it. Now, if you already have my AIO switch updater app, then you should be good to go because I haven't updated in a long time and it's still working. But to be on the safe side, if you want to overwrite, that's up to you. Just copy, replace, copy, replace, and that's pretty much it. Now we're done with the SD card. We can go ahead and try it out. So I'm going to eject out of my SD card and I will meet you on the switch. Okay, so here on the switch, before we continue, it is highly recommended to use the AIO updater app in the HP menu without applet mode. If you don't know what I'm talking about, if you were to access your HP menu in regular album, you'll have the top letters that says applet mode. It is not recommended to use the app, the app here. Instead, you have to use the HP menu without applet mode. And in order to do that, you can either use a folder like I have on my screen right now. If you want to have my version of this folder, you can um, leave a comment down below and I can share with you a link to that. Or you can click on an installed title and hold the right shoulder button of your right Joy-Con. Keep holding the right shoulder button and enter any one of your installed titles and let go of the button once you reach the HP menu without Apple mode. So you have those two ways. Just wanted to let you know before we continue and this will hopefully have minimal issues if there's any. Oh, and another thing. In order to use this app, we do need to have internet access. So you do need to have your Wi-Fi enabled. And I know a lot of people worry about like getting banned or things like that. And if you do worry about it, there are ways to protect yourself, like using Exosphere along with a DNS with host files in the atmosphere folder, not, not 90s DNS. So if you're interested in that, you might want to look into that first. If you're using my pack already, from previous versions, I normally add this already. And if you want to check, you can see your uh, serial number of your console in settings. And if it's all zeros, then you are currently being protected with my pack. So just wanted to so, uh, tell you all that before we continue. Okay, so now we can enter the HP menu without applet mode. And you can tell by the top right hand corner, I do not have those red letters. And if you already have internet connection, you can then go into the app. Another thing is that if you're following along with this video and your app does not say the other side right on the middle of the app, then you have the wrong app. So if everything is good, you have the right app, you have internet connection, then we can go ahead and enter it. So once you enter the app, you should be able to see the other side AMS 1.8.0. If you do not see this, then you do not have an internet connection already established. You need to have it already connected. So if you don't see this, you have to get out of this app completely. Make sure that your internet connection is uh, connected and try again. Okay, so now that we can see this, uh, I also have the up updated bootloaders, which is the other side of the Hecate. I also added the firmware 19.0.1. So after you're done updating the CFW, with the app, you can go back in here, download the firmware 19.0.1, and then use Daybreak to update to the latest Switch firmware. So go ahead and get started with CFW. Now go back to Update Atmosphere, then click on the AMS, the other side, 1.8.0.zip, and it's going to say downloading the file. If you want to continue, go ahead and click on Continue. After that, it says, do you want to overwrite existing INI config files? Go ahead and click on yes. Here it says, do you want to delete custom sys modules? And this is uh, helpful because when there's any type of updates with switch firmware, some of the sys modules will not work and you'll have errors. So go ahead and click on yes. All right, so once that is extracted, it's now going to ask you if you want to download the Hecate version. So if it says right there, downloading the Hecate 6.2.2.zip, go ahead and click on yes. Same questions here. Do you want to overwrite existing INI config files? Go ahead and click on yes. In some cases, you might have to click no. But 
everything worked out here it says the switch will now reboot so if everything goes well go ahead and click on back once the switch reboots it should boot you back into hecate because i added the files that does that for you so i know it's a small screen here but i just had to took it off my dock and it boot back into hecate okay so just to try and show y'all it did boot into hecate up here it should say hecate 6.2.2 after that, all you need to do is just go ahead and click on launch. You have all of these launch options here. The first one is OFW, which has just regular stock uh, firmware of the switch. The second one is Atmosphere using Fusey.bin uh, for your SysNAND. The second one is the same thing using Fusey.bin with uh, EMU MMC. The other one is the package three with FSSO with, through Hecate. Um, that's regular uh, SysNAND. And the last one is FSSO using package three uh, with Hecate with EMU MMC. So I added all these options. I know it's a lot, but they all do the same thing. I just added them because some people work with the uh, Fusey and for some people it works only with the FSSO. So I always use Fusey dub in here and it works for me. That's what I'm gonna do. And it should boot up just fine. Okay, so if everything went well after launching from Hecate and you were able to boot back into the switch like this, you should be good to go. But of course, if you have any issues after launching, you can leave a comment down below and I'll try and help you out as best as I can. But now that we're here, we can check to see if we are updated with the latest version of Atmosphere by going into system settings, scrolling all the way down to system and right under system update, I am on the latest version already of 19.0.1 and I have Atmosphere 1.8.0 with an S. Now I have an S because I'm using my CFW on SysNAND. If you have an E, you're using yours on EMU MMC. So we do have AMS working for me. Um, I do add those protections like I was talking about earlier with using uh, Wi-Fi. So if you go into serial information, you should have all zeros on your console. That means that you are being protected with using Wi-Fi safely. Um, you should not be able to log on to anything or accidentally update either. So that's working on my end. If any type of uh, forwarders are working, then uh, that means everything's working with all of the files inside of it. So it's working for me here. I hope it works for you. It should. But of course, also, like I said, if it doesn't work for you, you can leave a comment down below and let me know. Now, after this, you've uh, if you haven't updated to 19.0.1 already, you can go back into the HP menu, go back into the AIO updater app, and then you can go and download the 19.0.1. After it's done, you can go into Daybreak in the HP menu and update from here. So you are able to, you should be able to update your CFW and your firmware all from your switch. So after that, go into Daybreak, locate your firmware, and you should be good to go. But with that being said, everything seems to be working for me just fine. Um, let me know if it works for you. Let me know if it doesn't. But other than that, uh, thanks for watching. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.